Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spring Spanish. Yo soy María Fernanda and I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. And today, I want to give you tres tips. Three tips that you can apply immediately to learn Spanish through movies or TV shows or on your favorite streaming website. But I know that everybody has different general tastes. So I advise you to stay until the end of this video so I can give you my top five Mexican shows to watch and improve your Spanish at the same time. So, ¿estás listo? Okay, guys, so we're going to start with the first tip in just a few seconds. But first, did you know that we publish five weekly lessons here on our Spring Spanish YouTube channel? If you didn't know that and you don't want to miss them, then go click on the subscribe button now and on the bell button as well to get the notifications for all our five free Spanish lessons. And while you're at it, por favor, si te gustan mis clases, if you like my lessons, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up too. Tip numero uno, apply the conversation-based chunking method. This means to learn and apply the four simple steps of the chunking method to learn Spanish through movies. And I'm going to tell you something. This one works a lot, so you are not thinking all the time about grammar. First, let's have a look to the following steps. Step number one, to listen. Listen to all the conversations that are happening in Spanish, of course, but try not to cheat and look at the subtitles. Try to train your ear for that and get used to the most used phrases in Spanish, which leads us to the step number two, identify. You're going to learn how to identify those chunks. Every time you say, ah, this is what a native speaker would say, this in Spanish, that's a chunk. Step number three, memorize them. It will be easier to memorize a phrase and apply it just as it is because you just notice that that's how they use it by the Spanish speakers. More than, you know, memorizing the conjugation list and start to think like es presente, pasado, futuro. Uh, you have no idea how to express yourself in that precise moment. And remember, you have just watched your favorite actors or actresses using those chunks, so you know they are right. And step number four, habla, speak. Now it's your turn. You know that eventually they will come naturally because you have heard already the natural and fluent conversations in Spanish. And then you will see yourself like speaking just like your favorite actor en español. If you want to know more about this method, don't forget that we have a free Spanish training that you can access to the link that is inside the description box. Feel free to sign up, it's free, and you get some personalized lesson after you have watched it. Now, as I promised, let's see some examples using the chunky method through movies and start speaking like a native. Vamos a Miami. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, Rey? Nosotros vamos a Miami, tú vas a Tuxtla, güey. Nadie deja a un presidente. Yo no estoy dejando al presidente. Yo te estoy dejando a ti, Diego. So, guys, as you can see, there are different examples, different contexts, different topics. However, we are interested in looking for the chunks. In a real-life context, we would use these chunks the following way. Hola, amigo, ¿qué pasó? ¿Estás en casa? No, amigo, estoy dejando aquí a mi hermana en la escuela. Bonus tip. If watching the TV shows, it's still hard without subtitles, you don't want to cheat by using English subtitles because you know that will be too easy, right? Then watch them in Spanish. Yes, en español. ¿Por qué? Why? Well, you've been practicing double your listening skills and your reading skills, and it will make it much easier for you to find those chunks. Tip numero dos, choose shows that connect with you. And um, what do I mean with this? Well, maybe you can relate to some situations according to 
what your profession is, or maybe which situations that you see yourself in, or characters that you can relate to, for example. Um, let me give you my personal example. I am also a marketer by profession, and I love languages. So the Netflix series Emily in Paris actually connected to my inner self very well. How about you? Ask yourself that question. Are you an expert living in a foreign country? Entonces, ve 100 días para enamorarnos. Then you can watch 100 days to fall in love. This show is about a Mexican expat living in Houston, Texas, and it's kind of a modern telenovela. So it is very fun to watch. I recommend it to watch it if you want. What about you're into business and you want to learn strategy, planning, logistics, vocabulary, then you must watch La Casa de Papel, or Money Heist in English, because El Profesor is perfecto para ese rol. The professor is perfect for that role. Así que si me disculpa, le voy a colgar y vamos a volver a empezar. Okay. So, mis amigos, this is important because actually if you watch series or shows, that you can relate yourself in, then you can identify the chunks that you can actually use in your daily conversations. Tip numero tres, go above and beyond internationally. Get familiar with all sorts of Spanish accents. I mean, not only Mexico has really good shows and series to watch. España, Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, they have amazing options. So I'm gonna give you some examples that you can stream right away and start training your ear in different Spanish accents. Soltera Codiciada, a movie from Peru. Una mujer en sus 30s, a woman in her 30s, she gets done by her six-year-old relationship boyfriend and starts a blog about... Okay, I don't think I should go further better to watch it and then we can discuss it. What do you think? In Espanol, of course, eh? Now we go all the way to Colombia to watch La Ley Secreta. Un grupo de cuatro agentes encubiertas, a group of four undercover female agents that they are trying to combat the drug lords and cartels. And well, if you'd like drama, law, and movies that are based on real life stories, then this one is for you. Wait, actually that sounds really cool. I want to watch it as well. Y ahora, directo desde España, and now directly from Spain, Toc Toc. This is actually one of my favorite movies, like Spanish movies, because it's so funny. It has comedy and also mystery, y un final inesperado, an unexpected ending. So it's really worth to watch. So guys, these three shows are a great start if you want to get familiar with different Spanish accents. And also so you can learn phrases and chunks that you can start using in your daily conversations. But shall we finally get to my personal recommendation list? Mm, not yet. First, let me know if you have applied any of these tips before. Did you know about them? Just let me know in the comments below. And as I promised, here are my favorite five Mexican shows that you can start watching right now to improve your Espanol. Please, drums. Número uno, La Reina del Sur. Porque dicen que el valiente vive hasta que el cobarde quiere. Y esos desgraciados tuvieron su merecido. Acción, drama y negocios ilegales. Action, drama and illegal business. I'm from the South, so... I'm kind of like this title a lot. <laughs> Número dos, La Casa de las Flores. La gente dice que somos la familia perfecta. Y eso es lo que van a decir. It's kind of una telenovela moderna, like a modern soap opera, where it's full with family secrets and drama, and well, you gotta watch it. It's really funny as well. Número tres, una de mis favoritas, one of my favorites, El Club de Cuervos. Y yo, Chavo Iglesias, su nuevo presidente. Which is like the Ravens Club. If you're a soccer fan, you're going to love this. 
And besides, it has all the Mexican controvers controversies such as the feminists against the macho men and also the money and family problems. So it's really fun to watch. So have a look at that one as well. Numero cuatro. This is actually a movie, but one of my personal favorites as well. La dictadura perfecta. Mil veces les he dicho que si le disparan a alguien, lo peor que pueden hacer es dejarlo vivo. The perfect dictatorship. And even though it's not that new, it has like very controversial topics. Soborno, dinero y política. Bribery, money and politics. So believe it or not, it kind of reflects the real political life in Mexico. So I think it's a really must watch movie. And número cinco, Nosotros los Nobles. So it kind of translates to We are the nobles And it's really, really funny movie Because you can actually see the two sides of the social classes in Mexico Los ricos y los pobres So I am sure that you are ready for a good laugh Then watch Nosotros los Nobles After watching this film, mis amigos Cualquier parecido con la realidad es pura coincidencia. Any resemblance to reality is just a pure coincidence. So guys, are there any other shows that you would like to recommend to our subscribers? Just let us know in the comments below, because like that, other students can benefit from your recommendations. Muchas gracias. Don't forget I will see you next week. It was a pleasure being here today. Adios. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share the videos with your friends.